got some new kits for the 75 gallon tank today and I learned this watching a fish shop map video I didn't used to do it this way I used to uh, float the bags and uh, either net the fish out or dump them out even you know in the earlier days uh, to acclimate them you know let them sit in the bag for 20 minutes or so in the water floating but now what Matt did he rolls the tops back and it actually makes like a little buoy and uh, so I'll let him sit like this now for I don't know, another 15, 20 minutes or so. And then I'll start dumping a little water. I'll submerge, corner the bag, a little bit, let a little bit of water float in. And then I'll show you what I got. It's been 15 minutes or so, so I'm the set. what I do next is uh, just submerge one edge and let a little tank water in. And the rolled up rim should keep it floating. Do a little of this one too. Well, mixing a little of the water, getting them used to this water from where they came from. And yeah, they were from one of the big box stores. Let's go away how not to do it. There's a couple out. The bag went sideways on these uh, black, skirt, black skirt Tetras. So I'm going to get a net to take the rest of them out. I've been wanting to add some more fish to this tank for a while. There's uh, seven or eight bronze quarries, and I think about ten clown plecos, two angelfish, and I almost lost one the other day. It got stuck in uh, between the rocks and the side of the tank over there, poor thing. Seems to be doing okay now. It's this uh, this orange koi. I'll uh, take you off the tripod here in a minute. I'm going to show you. And I think that's it there. And then the others... See where we're at here. I'm going to move this back over here. I don't see any of these that have gotten out. These are, uh, they're calling them Serape Tetras. A nice little pop of color in here. They sort of remind me of the color of the Ember Tetra. I've got some in another tank and I really like those. I guess I could put all these in a measuring cup and pour them all out at once and do the big dramatic, uh, whatever it is, the big dramatic pour out and drop this down a little more. And hopefully that'll help. There's 10 of each. Let's hope it stays that way. And here's number 10. And they're out. Now let's see if we can find them. There are the Serapi Tetras. And over in the other corner, Sounds like a boxing match with the black skirt tetras. And here's the two very confused angelfish going, what the hell have you done? This was our tank. Now we have to share it with all these guys. Yes, they do. And it's an orange one back there. And you can see on its shoulder, it's kind of like whitish scuffed. That's where it got stuck between the rocks and the edge of the tank here where I stepped all that java fern in. That's kind of like closing the barn door after the cows come home. So yeah, I was really, oh, oh, poor thing. I felt so bad. I am so grateful that it's made it. So anyway, hopefully they'll do right. The water's really cloudy right now because I went through and I cleaned uh, 
the filter floss back here and uh, I just stirred up a bunch of stuff that was on the gravel uh, on the plants and it'll get picked up there and I'll stir it up a few more times and oh and look the rare and elusive clown pleco right on the edge of the rock right uh, right there it tickle his little belly and you wouldn't mind they're coming out a little more which is kind of cool because they seem very shy so there's one of the bronze quarries up to meet the new kids checking them out everybody's happy I hope oh and yeah just lots of plants lots of crypts uh, three different kinds of swords the echinodorus uh, the Sagittarius subulata, one of these uh, tiger lilies, lots of java fern, one anubias. Oh God, here we go. Uh, a, a Pontogean, I think maybe. Um, yeah. Anyway, a couple of a uh, couple three uh, pink flamingo cryptocorine. These are the bronze uh, windy eyes. There's the other. Uh, where'd it go? tucked down in there, the pink flamingo cryptocorine. And number three is right there. So it's been a good tank. This is one of those uh, $45 tanks from Offer Up, 75 gallon Aquion, not a bad deal. There's also the two surviving Hillstream loaches in here. Saw one a couple days ago, saw one a couple days before that. They've only been here about a week now. Hopefully they'll survive. Maybe at some point I'll get more and put them directly in this tank because the tank that I started that whole mess in uh, with the Hillstream loaches just was a bust. So it's one of those things we live and learn, hopefully. Okay, that's this tank in a nutshell. I want to get some more uh, Koi Angels if I can find some. I like to have six or eight of them in here. These two hang close together, so I'm not sure if they, they're just buddies. They're out of the same spawn more than likely. Uh, I, I, you know, I don't know if it's a male and a female. I'm not sure. Uh, if I was to venture a guess, I wouldn't have one right now. Um, other than maybe the uh, orangey one would be the male. With bigger, faster growing, they were about the same size when I got them. But anyway, I'd like to have six or eight, maybe get a breeding breeding pair out of them. And I've also got uh, ramshorn snails in this tank. They came out of some plants somewhere so now they're everywhere so anyway uh as always you know if you like the video i hope you'll uh comment uh anything's good uh give it a like and uh if you want to give it a share that's always fun too but certainly uh hit that subscribe button if you haven't already uh it helps the channel grow and we really appreciate it here at garage aquatics 2023 so y'all take care and as always thanks for looking